the heartland of America, the breadbasket of the nation. For generations, this fertile soil has produced delicious and wholesome food. But in 1996, a new type of crop was introduced to the land. Genetically modified foods, products of the biotechnology industry. Scientists use gene splicing technology to incorporate new genes into these plants. The results are plants that produce more food and contain more nutrients. Scientists have even created plants that don't die when sprayed with Roundup. All in all, these plants are a farmer's dream come true. Today, 85% of the corn grown in the United States is genetically modified. Approximately 70% of the processed foods sold in grocery stores contain genetically modified ingredients. But an important question remains. Are genetically modified foods safe to eat? The biotechnology industry offers an answer to the safety question on the website for Council for Biotechnology Information, a nonprofit organization that communicates science based information about agricultural biotechnology. The members of this organization are the leading biotechnology companies. The website presents a series of talking points using a myth fact format. One of them discusses the safety of genetically modified foods. In response to the claim that biotech foods are unsafe to eat, the Council for Biotechnology Information says, The Food and Drug Administration has determined that biotech foods and crops are as safe as their non-biotech counterparts. The American Medical Association, the American Dietetic Association, and the U.S. National Academy of Sciences have also declared biotech foods safe for human and animal consumption. In addition, since being introduced to U.S. markets in 1996, not a single person or animal has become sick from eating biotech foods. Other international groups that have concluded biotech foods and crops are safe are the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the World Health Organization, the International Council for Science, the French Food Agency, and the British Medical Association. The European Food Safety Authority has also found several biotech varieties to be safe for human and animal consumption. So from the biotechnology industry's point of view, genetically modified foods are safe to eat. In the mid-1990s, Australian scientists at the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization began developing a genetically modified pea that would help in the battle against the pea weevil. The pea weevil eats 30% of Australia's pea crops each year. The scientists inserted a protein gene from kidney beans into the DNA of peas to create an anti-nutrient that would be safe when eaten by humans but lethal when consumed by the pea weevil. Before the genetically modified pea was sent for approval, the developer, T.J. Higgins, asked researchers at the John Curtin School of Medical Research to investigate the pea to see if it would cause allergies. The researchers discovered that when mice were fed the peas, not only did they develop an allergic response to them, 
but they also developed an allergic response to other foods. After using a sensitive test called Malditoff, the researchers found that the gene protein inserted into the pea had attached itself to sugar chains at the DNA level. This action transformed the gene protein into an allergen. The results of this study were published in the peer-reviewed Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry. The details of the study were discussed in the article Frankenstein Peas. The writer of this article, Jeffrey Smith, is the author of the international bestseller Seeds of Deception. He's also the founder of the Institute for Responsible Technology, a nonprofit organization dedicated to educating policymakers and the public about genetically modified foods. The biotechnology industry responded to the pea study by saying that it proved the regulatory systems in place are effective. But the test used by the researchers, Malditoff, is not used when testing and evaluating the safety of genetically modified foods. In fact, the toughest regulatory systems in the world only require the DNA screen test and the pepsin digestibility test. The researchers who studied the pea concluded that it would have passed both of these tests. On July 29, 2008, Dennis Kucinich introduced a bill into the House of Representatives called the Genetically Engineered Food Right to Know Act. If this bill were passed, it would require the United States to develop a mandatory labeling system like the one adopted by the European Union. Unfortunately, the bill died with the end of the 110th session of Congress. But Americans should write Representative Kucinich urging him to reintroduce the bill. They also should write their representatives asking them to support this legislation. The passing of this bill would be a step in the right direction. It would send a message to the biotechnology industry that Americans refuse to take part in an experiment without their consent. A mandatory labeling system would also encourage the biotechnology industry to engage in serious risk assessment in order to prove their products are safe. If this happens, Americans will feel more confident about having one of the safest food supplies in the world.